you are welcome to my channel mindset academy where we want to reproduce the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen using the principle of tangency now if you look closely to the figure you discover that we have five we have four different centers that we can see easily right and this is one of the center this is another one this is another one and this is what we have here also now i can start from any of the center right so i'm starting from the left hand side which is the center here so what i'll do first of all is just to draw out my um draw out my horizontal and vertical lines at any given point on the paper right I'll just draw it this way. I have it this way. You can see that. And on this point too, I'll do the same thing here to draw a vertical line this way too. You can see that. Now, this is the center I'm interested in. So from this center, if you look at this uh, this point, here, we have two circles. This inner one and the outer one. And the inner circle here has a radius of 12.5, which because of diameter is 25. I divide diameter 25 by 2, and you have 12.5. So I'm going to measure 12.5 using my meter rule. This way, so 0. This is 10. 11 12 12.5 is here and i'll place it at the center point here right where i am going to draw my circle in this fashion you can see that and the other one has a radius of 20 you know measure 20 from 0 to 2 that is 20 and I'll also place it at the center point and I'll draw 20. You can see that now. If you look at this line, it is tended towards this end here, towards the direction, and the distance from this center to the next center here is 150. So I'm going to measure 150 on my meter rule, right? Let's start from one here. So I'll be having 150. So from this point, it has to be my zero to this point here is 150, right? 150 millimeter. That is, if you take them one by one, we're having 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, right? So on that point where it is here, I will draw a vertical line on that point this way right now to get the center of the other circle this point here i'll measure 30 upward so i'll measure 30 upward from here 0 to 30 that is another center there and i'll go to that point now I'll draw a line across that point so there is another center we have there this way you can see that and from that point also, I'll measure 40 upward again to get to another center. So from zero here, I'll measure 40. That is another center that I'll have there again. So that again, so I'll draw a line across the point this way. You can see that? So in this, this is one of the center. In the other center here. So I'll take my meter rule. If you look at the radius of the internal circle here, it's given to be also 12.5 because from here to here 25, meaning half of it we use the word 12.5. And we know that we measure this internal circle here to be 12.5 earlier. You can do that from your meter rule, measuring 12.5 this way. And I'll come to this point here. And I'm going to draw it's a semicircle 
I also come to this point here too. I also draw the semicircle. You can see that. And the other one has a radius of what? 20, the outer one. So I'm going to middle 20. We know that from this point to this point here is 20. Are we good? And I'll place at the same center here. And I'll measure radius of 20. And I'll come here also. I'll do the same thing too. 20. Hope you can see that. Then I'll take my metal roof and I'll join those points together this way. This way. This way. This way. You can see that. How will I get my arc here? It's as simple as this. I want to get an arc you can see touching these two circles. We know very well that the radius of this outer circle is 20, and the radius of here also is what 20. Then the bigger arc here has a radius of what 100. That is the arc connecting these two circles here is what 100. So since it is going in, I will call it an external circle, meaning that we are going to add. So 100 plus 20, 100 plus 20 will give us 100 and what 20. So from 0 to 12 is 120. Then I'm going to place it at this point. I'm going to strike an arc. I see that. And I'll place it at this point too. I'm going to strike another arc. So where they meet, they're meeting at this point. Let me show you. They are meeting at this point. Hope you can see that we are meeting at this point here right so i'll take my compass and i'll place it at that point that we can see right and i'll place it there from zero from this point it they meet now get you to this point Ensuring that both of them are touching each other. Hope you can see what I'm doing. This is what we have there, right? We can understand that the radius of this to this point here is given to be what hundred. This is this is hundred. All together. Now, aside that, and with what we've done so far, we know that the radius of this to this point. We already know that, so we'll come back to that in dimensioning. So we have another one that is connecting this to another bigger arc that's touching this two here also. But the radius of that arc you can see is given to be what 150. And since it is uh, internal, that means coming out. This is coming in, that we're adding. This is coming out, that we're what we are subtracting. We we'll call it internal. The circles are internal. So R150, we have 150 minus um, 20, that will give us 130. So I'm going to measure 130 on my meter row again here, 0 to 130. So 213, can you see that? And I'll place it at the center point. I'll also strike an arc this way. Right? And I'll place it. At this point, two after another arc. So where they meet, where those two arc meet, right? You're going to place your compass at that point, and you draw an arc. Okay. 
and you draw an arc on that point. And the length line first. All right? I'll come back to it. When they meet, you get an arc. So I'm using faint line for the reason is because there's something still attached to this. Is that taken? So how will I get that aspect? Is that um, the radius is given to be 12, right? The radius is given to be what? 12. So what I'm going to do here is to get to this circle, I'll measure 60 away from the center downward. So let's do that and see this 60 from here to here 60. And let's check that. So we'll take our measurement from here 60 downward. So let's do that and see from zero straight down to 60. Let's take it up. So you see what I'm talking about. Straight down to 60. Right. So I use my meter rule. Now draw an horizontal line this way. Start again. Now the next thing is to get to the center of the circle. I'll move a distance from this line here. I'll measure a distance of what? Of 80. So what distance? Distance of this line. Let me join this to this. Let me join this to this. On this point here, measure a distance of 80. 0 to 80 is here. Then I'll take it up. Paint line. You can see that this point that we're actually focusing on, which is that point you're seeing on the screen. So we have an radius of what 20. So I can easily Take a radius of 20 here. We know from here to here is 20 also. And I'll place it here. Then I'm going to draw a circle this way. Can you see that? So let me take it up so you get a clearer view of what I'm trying to talk about. So this is what we have. So I'm going to take in it. Radius of 20. Right? And I'm going to project each of this end upward to touch this. Project this end to touch here. And project this end to touch here. Right? Now, if you look at this, an arc of radius of 12 that is touching this. So, what will I do? I'm going to add this 12 with the radius of 50, and that will give us one, um, 162 altogether. That gives us 100 and what 62. Add this radius of 12 to that 50 there. It gives us 152. So if I measure 152 on my meter rule, right? I measure 152 on my meter rule. So I'm starting from from 0 to 14 is 150. From 1 to 14 is 150. Right? So if I place it this way, 152, right? So I'll be having this. Let's start from here. From 0, from 1, 1 here, to 1, 362. I'm starting from 1, I'm starting from 10. To 162. So, by 0 to 16.2. So we are placed it at where, uh, I'll place it at the point where the arc of this point and this point, what I used to get this arc, right? I'll place it there on that point. And I'm going to draw an arc this way. Right? After I've done that, the next thing I'm going to do is I'll measure a distance of 12 away from these two ends since the arc connecting the both of them is 12, so I'll measure a distance of 12 away from those two ends. So let's try and see. If I measure distance of 12 from this end, right, from 0 
to 12 and from 0 again to 12 and I'm going to take this upward to where it cuts here and where it cuts here this point will be the point that will give me that arc I need so when I place it this way from here I'll draw my arc can you see that and I'll come here too I'll do the same thing I'll draw my arc right so I can now take in those points together so from here taking from here also taking right and you circle in having the same distance of 12.5 now let's put it at the center here and I'm going to draw another circle this way is that again so I can easily take in all this out now so this is what we have here we we'll successfully reproduce the figure that you can see at the right hand side of the screen. Most importantly, you have to start doing your dimensioning, which is very important, right? Start doing So this is what we have here and if you have found this video helpful please don't forget to like subscribe and also share the video thanks for watching